Okay, so here's the basic mixer window. You can see here I can uh, record, enable, and monitor tracks. So here's the keyboard I'm playing. I can change the volume. It's all multi-touch. I can then go to my send and effects screen and I can very quickly send some reverb. Nice and loud. I can put it through echo. Remove that. And our second reverb. You can see on the screen, there's no sign of where that reverb is, apart from the plug in there. Just by clicking on this little button here, I bring up the, the echo window. There we are. Or I can bring up the reverb window. So it's all pretty cool. So it's all touch editing, and I can bring up each window one by one. I could, of course, edit the plugins, the inserts as well in each of the tracks. So um, you've got that window. You can click at the top here and select each channel that's on the screen at one time. And you can scroll through the channels and start and stop and stuff. Uh, I've got various commands I'm working on at the moment. The quick control is quite good. A new part of Cubase is that um, you can set individual MIDI controls for each track. So, for instance, that um, synth you just saw a little while ago, it's got a whole load of quick controls here. They've just appeared on the screen automatically. And I'm just going to wiggle this one up and down. As I wiggle up and down the screen, you can see it wiggles up a controller over there, which is pretty cool. That brings back to the X and Y. The final thing I've installed on here is an RME interface. Um, pretty cool, um, because I use the RME Fireface, this is the RME Fireface mixer window. I can control these remotely now from here. So you can see I can unmute the inputs if I want to do some recording. Mute them again if I don't want to do some recording. I can change the input levels. So this is actually changing the preamps within the RME interface. So that's pretty cool, all done through an iPad. Um, uh, it's because it's multi-touch, you can select three mixing channels and then bring them back down again. So that's what I've got set up on my little uh, iPad. It is pretty cool. Um, of course, there are other functions on here. So I can look at the record settings and I can choose click, cycle, all those sort of things. I can hide, I can change to pan and do all those sort of things. Um, so that's the pan or the, or the desk which is pretty cool. Um, put that back there. Um, what else can I do? I can do all sorts of stuff. There's loads on here, so um, pretty cool.